guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Today's video is the second in a three part mini series that explores how to create prints with two or more colours using a single extruder machine. In today's example, we're going to be having a look at this tag that was designed by Lauren from ABuzz Designs using the second technique. Alright, so for simple shapes that are being inserted into objects such as circles and squares and triangles, what you can do is bring in the insert and just modify its scale. You want to make sure it's not uniformly scaling because we don't want to change everything the same. But we want to do the X and the Y by the same amount each and the top as well. I gave it a 0.2 millimeter tolerance on the sides and I took one layer off the top. And then we push print. Now on my machine that fits absolutely perfectly and uh, it's even a little bit of a tight fit. I may, may have been able to change it a bit more. And then we bring in the main body and we use the cross section viewer to check where we need to pause the print. Just the same way that we did with the layers. Um, and you can see I'm having a bit of trouble seeing where exactly things are in this view. So I'm going to have a look at the G-code preview and then have a look at where we need to pause it. So here we can see I need to pause it at 4 millimeters, and that will give us the height where it will start printing on top of the insert straight away. And off we go. Yeehaw! Print, print, yes! Alright. You can see here it's a very tight fit. Like I said, I probably could have made the tolerances a, a little bit, bit more leeway, but uh, it worked alright. It had a high spot, sort of at the top there. But um, by the time it had finished doing the next couple of layers, you couldn't really notice. Isn't that beautiful? What a pretty snowflake. Like I said, this was designed by Lauren from ABuzz Designs. You should really check out her channel. She's very creative and not just with 3D printing either. And there we go, all done. One Christmas tag, completely encapsulated. No one who didn't know would be able to tell you that that wasn't a dual extruder print. If you'd like to support the channel, you can. Every dollar you do counts. And it helps me bring more content and get materials to make more models and do more experiments and more fun things. Print all of the things. Thanks, guys. To see where I got inspiration for this particular technique, please go visit Vicky at TGAL on YouTube. I'll put a link to her videos here. And she embeds all sorts of different things into prints, not just prints into prints like what I've done here today. So please do check out her channel. Stay tuned for the next video where I go into depth on how to do black magic.